now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and it's new release Saturday as we officially, officially, officially close out our week long salute to Scrooge. We're going to be discussing the Apple Films original movie, Spirited, starring Will Ferrell. Ryan Reynolds, Octavia Spencer, Sunita Manny, Patrick Page, Marlo Barkley, Lauren G. Woods, and Tracy Morgan. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. As I said in the introduction, today we conclude our week-long salute to Scrooge, and we discuss new release Saturday, the Apple original film, spirited and as our movie opens we discover that jacob marley and the ghosts of christmas past present and yet to come have led a team of afterlife spirits for nearly two centuries with the intent to find and redeem one human soul or perp every christmas now christmas present has been eligible for retirement for decades, but he refuses to do so despite being tempted by the promise of settling down and making up for his own failures in his past life. While scoping for a new soul to redeem, the spirits encounter Clint Briggs, a renowned, controversial media consultant. Now, despite Marley's insistence that Briggs is an unredeemable soul, present is set on him as he believes that his redemption could have a ripple effect, making him a force for positive change within humanity. Therefore, the ghosts begin a year of research on Clint, preparing for their annual haunt. As Christmas nears, They visit Clint's headquarters, where they witness him instructing his niece, who wishes to become class president, to tank her grades and post an unflattering video of a classmate who is running against her. Meanwhile, Clint's assistant, Kimberly, who discovered the video at his instruction, feels guilty and almost quits, but ultimately she does not. Matters are further complicated when Christmas present is unexpectedly seen by Kimberly. The spirits start the assignment, but it quickly goes off the rails when Clint interrupts Marley and easily seduces Christmas past, forcing present to take over. Clint is dismissive of present, and he resists his past memories, particularly that of his ex-girlfriend, Nora, who broke up with him over his selfishness, and his older sister, Carrie, who asked Clint to raise her daughter, Wren, while on her deathbed. After realizing that Clint's case requires an unconventional approach, Present takes Clint into his own past, revealing that he was once Ebenezer Scrooge, the only other unredeemable soul to go through the program. Marley becomes furious over this and orders Present to stick to the script while finishing Clint's redemption. Present then brings Clint to Nora, who is now happily celebrating Christmas with her husband and kids, but Clint deduces that present longs for a happy family life himself with Kimberly. Present dismisses the idea and then shows him Ren's classmate's reaction when he sees that she posted the video. He then finally forces Clint to relive his sister's dying request to raise Ren, where Clint turns her down and passes the responsibility onto their younger brother, Owen. Present prepares to leave Clint with yet to come, 
but Clint forces present to confront his own fears of whether he was truly redeemed since he had only lived three more weeks after encountering the ghosts, and he convinces him to take retirement and return to Earth. He does so, and after he and Clint wake up in Clint's apartment, he asks Kimberly out on a date. Clint is then intercepted by the ghost yet to come, and is shown glimpses of the future, including the suicide of Wren's classmate. The vision shakes Clint, and he runs away from the haunt, but is intercepted by both past and yet to come, who force him back to Earth. Returning to his apartment, he and Present race to stop Wren from posting the video. Finally catching up with her, Kimberly stops them. She informs them that she told Wren not to do it, and then tells Clint that she is quitting. Present is jubilant and waits for Clint to receive his congratulations from the ghost crew, but is confused when they don't arrive. Clint explains that all he did was redeem one mistake, and that he hasn't changed, but he convinces Present that life is still worth trying and offers his friendship. Present, now convinced that he truly is unredeemable, tries to jump in front of a bus in order to return to the afterlife and his job, but Clint pushes him out of the way and time freezes before the bus hits him, causing the spirits to arrive and finally congratulate Clint. However, when time resumes, the bus hits Clint and he is killed. Clint is then reunited with Carrie, but he doesn't want to leave present behind. Instead, he makes a proposal to Marley. Several years later, Clint has now assumed the role of the ghost of Christmas present and is in a relationship with the ghost of Christmas past. He is expanding the program to include other holidays and to take on more perps every year. He has also brought Carrie on board as part of the staff. He also regularly visits present, revealing that they continue to work together to redeem souls. Wren has grown up and been accepted into a master's program at Stanford as our movie comes to its end. I think it's been well documented at this point that number one, I'm not Will Ferrell's biggest fan. And number two, I'm not the hugest fan of musicals. That being said, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. This is now my favorite Will Ferrell movie. And a lot of it is owed to Ryan Reynolds, who I haven't seen a single thing of his that I don't like as of yet. Octavia Spencer does a great job. Tracy Morgan, as the voice of Christmas Yet to Come, is hilarious. Just the entire ensemble works together so good. And the modern take on the Christmas Carol story with Ryan Reynolds as Clint in the Scrooge role, with Will Ferrell, the original Scrooge, trying to redeem him. You know, the ghosts all still there. You've still got Scrooge and Marley working together because now they lead this team of souls and ghosts to try to redeem people. You've got Wren, who, aside from not being disabled, is very much the Tiny Tim type of character. You've got Carrie, Clint's sister, dying on her deathbed, much the way Fan did, asking Scrooge, Clint, to take care of their kid, Fred, Wren, and neither one of them wanting the responsibility. There's so many little pieces of the Christmas Carol story that are thrown into this retelling and... 
I, I legitimately wish this had been a theatrical movie because I would love to have gone and seen it on the big screen, the songs and everything over the surround sound, the THX. The one song that I loved the most, and there wasn't a song that I didn't like, but the one I enjoyed the most was the one called Good Afternoon. Because you basically learn that in that 1800s London, Good Afternoon basically meant F off. Go F yourself. So there's this whole psalm where they're telling people good afternoon and they're getting offended because of what it meant in those days. Whereas now you listen to it and it's like good afternoon is just a casual greeting. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. But back then, completely different meaning. And the psalm is so hilarious. I highly recommend, I know it's on Spotify, look it up on YouTube, listen to that song, and if after that song you want to watch this movie, please do. If you're a fan of Will Ferrell or Ryan Reynolds, check this movie out. If it gets released on home media, better believe I'm buying it and adding it to my collection. You'll see it pop up one week on The War Zone when I'll be showing off my new additions. But this movie... So good. Like I said, my favorite Will Ferrell movie to date. It's just so good. When it comes to my rating for it, I'm not going to give it five stars because it's a brand new film. But I will give it four and a half out of five. It is that good, people. Take my word for it. If you're Apple Plus subscribers, if you have the Apple streaming service, watch this movie. You will not be disappointed. Those of you that have seen Spirited already, what did you think? Let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. Let's have that conversation, that discussion, that debate, that interaction that I'm always asking you guys for in the comments below. And make sure you guys tune in later this evening right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel as well as over on the Jeff Meacham Network and across the Jeff Meacham Network Multiverse of Media, as it'll be time once again for Open Mic Night. That's right, myself, the simple man Noah Foster, James Hebert, possibly Jeff Meacham make an appearance, and whoever else wants to step through the doors of the club and step up to the microphone to sound off on this week's worth of wrestling news. And then tomorrow, right back here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. It'll be time for another edition of The War Zone, the weekly acquisition report where I, the renegade, show you, the viewers, the latest additions to my ever-growing movie library. But that's not all, because at the top of the half hour following that will be another edition of Renegades Reviews as I kick off a week of what I'm dubbing Christmas Chestnuts with a heartfelt family favorite in the Williams household, The Christmas Gift, starring John Denver, Jane Kazmarek, Jenny James, Edward Winter, Pat Corley, Mary Wicks, Kurtwood Smith, and James Callahan. You don't want to miss out on any of that content right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, on the War Zone, on Renegades Reviews, on the Jeff Meacham Network, across the Jeff Meacham Network multiverse of media, on Open Mic Night. So much content still in store for you guys this month. Don't miss out. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out any time a video drops right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel or anytime we go live, as is the case with Open Mic Night, Stat Boy Sports Bar, pay-per-view PLE coverage, etc. Share these videos with your family, friends, loved ones, co-workers, movie fanatics, cinephiles in your life. Anybody you can think of. Fans of Will Ferrell. Fans of Ryan Reynolds. Fans of Octavia Spencer. Fans of Charles Dickens. Fans of The A Christmas Carol Story. Fans of the character of Ebenezer Scrooge. Anybody that you could imagine that would enjoy this content in this video, share it with them. It's the only way we're going to boost up my visibility in YouTube's algorithms so I can finally eventually get monetized and make some money on these videos. 
Thank you once again to everyone who joined me and tuned in today. It means more to me than you'll ever know. And I will see you guys next time.